love your email. Hey, oh, do we ever. ever. Just have one email today, and it's not even particularly long. But Corey from Highland says what I'm sure a lot of people thought, and I'm sure Jimbo knew this was coming. Stiffy at kcalifem.com. Go ahead. Jimbo! Just want to know what year in the 70s you jumped the bandwagon from the Chicago Bears to the Minnesota Vikings. Never oh, been God, a Bear you know, fan. No, no, Never been a yeah, Bear you, fan. You're barking up the wrong tree, dude. And how foolish you feel for choosing the NFL's biggest chokers. No, there's a lot of chokers. Who's the Pop Warner team Bills. now? Moss, who? Find another excuse that your team sucks. Yes, Vikings suck, Vikings suck, Vikings suck. Are your ears still ringing? Jimbo needs a worse torture since he lost to his hometown team. Like wearing a purple skirt with an Erlacher jersey. Is that a guy? Brian Erlacher, yes. Erlacher jersey. Uh, On the Bear. corner of Waterman and Hospitality singing the 85 Super Bowl shuffle. You know you were singing it in 85. K-Cal rock. Was not. No, he wasn't. You have no knowledge whatsoever. No, you don't. And if you had any balls, you would have sent this yes. before the game because you even thought you were going to lose. Right. Yes, yeah, uh, This is an uninformed emailer. See, you I, have to I talk trash say. before the game because that's what yep. shows the You don't get to talk it before. Even you were like, oh, all curled up fetal going, I hope we only lose by eight. <laughs> so shut up. You don't know. You know what? I have yet to hire. You know, I can only met a handful of fans that are as big as fans as me. That guy. Uh-huh. Give me his email. Okay. Give me his email. Sack, I'm going to need you in a little bit. All right. It's meeting my balls. Okay, but... uh, the email, Mr. Balls. It's been a while since you've done that. Yeah. It was uh, something the other day, but it wasn't exactly email. Yeah. It was, and uh... I, I think, you know, <laughs> I usually don't like to do this this close to Christmas. Right. Uh-huh. But uh, I think this person needs to be rocked to hell. You right. too oh, like to do it close no, wait, to Wait, wait, wait. You're going to rock him to hell. That's usually saved for those who are cool it are, and are cool. Then here's what he gets. <laughs> oh, oh you got a dick by the band. Got a uh, stiff arm, Mother Scratcher. Circumcised his rock you to hell. Oh, and we'll wait a right second. You got people's hopes up because they like to hear your rock well, to hell. Well, then they can call back, but yeah. it's not for him. Because right. I, don't, I don't mean to take you away from the rock you to hell. I love it. No, I got caught up in a moment. I'm glad you said but that. But it's for cool people only. But you're so cool that you sent the email after the fact. You right. didn't have you. You were scared going in. You know you wore. Bear fans, Chad Hutchinson. Vikings on a roll. You know you were scared. Thanks, Cause Marcel. Because you, you didn't send the email till after the fact. Yeah. That takes a lot of balls. That's like saying, I'm picking my favorite team after the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Big man, you are emailing after the yeah. fact. I'm doing my football picks during NFL primetime. Who talks smack <laughs> before the game? Jimbo. That's what you do. That's smack talking. Or in terms I can understand. I'm picking my favorite actress after she wins the Oscar. Yeah. Well, lame, but yeah, <laughs> my favorite now. Same point. I'm glad we you're, I'm glad your you're catching on, yes, Tiffany. Tiffany at KKLFM.com. It's like going to Vegas right now and saying, all right, I'm going to put my life savings on the Browns not making the playoffs. Oh, they already oh, been eliminated? Off. They're eliminated. Oh, so you're not taking bets. Does Vegas <laughs> take bets after the game, you jackass? No. You don't. You had to bring the Browns into it, didn't you? I was putting it in another perspective. That's Green. right. Yeah, that's right. All Making right. An example. I'm, I'm very, sorry. It's his fault. It's a cross-reference. It's his fault. <laughs> we love your email. Let's yep. rub Jimbo's nose in it again. Jimbo. Yes. Stiffy at KKLFM.com. Just want to know what year in the 70s you jumped the bandwagon from the Chicago Bears to the Minnesota Vikings and how foolish you feel for choosing the NFL's biggest chokers. <laughs> Who's the Pop Warner team now? Moss who? Find another excuse that your team sucks. Yes, Vikings suck, Vikings suck, Vikings suck. All in capital letters. <laughs> Are your ears still ringing? Jimbo needs a worse no. torture since his, he lost to his hometown team. What do you like mean wearing, worse torture? We get the tortures and that's it. We get them from Satan himself. Like wearing a purple skirt with an Erlacher jersey on the corner of Waterman and Hospitality singing the 85 Super Bowl shuffle. That was a torture from last yeah, year. Where were you before the game? You know day? you were singing it in 85. No. Hey, Cal Rocks. Never been a Bear fan. Never, ever jumped shit. I, ship. I was always a Vikings fan. Always. That, that's true. Got, because that's the Bears true. sucked when he was a kid. Right. Yeah, totally. And I even sat with Bear fans at Soldier's Field. Yeah. The new one's great. Looks like crap from the outside, but right. once you're in there, right. it's awesome. That's Who cares what, what it looks like from the and outside? And I explained to some more rational people from Chicago why I wasn't a Bear fan. And they said, that's cool. I no, you know what they said? Yeah. Give me another beer. We they, heard what those people yeah, sounded they, like. 
<laughs> they were yes, pretty we good. did. <laughs> yeah, and you weren't. And we all. broke bread and we shared a beer and it was all good. And what kind of smack talk is that after the fact? I yeah. don't know. Let's ask him because guess right. who's on the line? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, great. Hey, Jimbo. What? Yo. Yeah, I respect the passion you have for your team, but just like when you were tight lip about Moss when he was hurt, hey, your locker was a game time decision, and you know he's the difference maker. But just because I don't. Kiss butt like everybody else doesn't mean, mean I don't deserve to be rocked to hell. I've had plenty of chances to talk to Smack. Five out of the last eight, but that Pop Warner comment about the Bears and Cowboys, that's just too much. Oh, this was, so his, this is Corey from Highland, and his uh, comment that your team, who's the Pop Warner team now, was because of something you said in the past about the Bears? Well, like every year, we split. And for Corey to say that the Vikings are the choke artists, it isn't like the Bears are known for... Constant winning in that uh, huge dynasty, either. So, what are you talking he, about, uh, Corey? He, he hey, makes a good the point there, Corey. Read the history. Yeah, what you got your Super Bowl ring. What do you got? Four lost Super Bowls, and I lost count of all the NFC championships. So, that makes the Bears that much greater of a franchise. Because they have won. Uh, yes, absolutely. And I have to be a Bear fan because I grew up there? Absolutely not, because I grew up right here in California, and I hate the Rams, so. See, look at that. See? So hey, you can I'm relate saying, to what I'm going I'm just to. Saying, how could you come from Chicago and not love the Bears? Well, how could you come from L.A. and not, not love like the Rams? Rams? Look at the Rams. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at the, the Bears. Bears. <laughs> yeah. You had one year. You let me I tell am. you. I grew up watching. They even had Walter Payton, and they couldn't do anything. Right. You know, and they, you felt so bad for Payton because here's this great guy on this crappy team, <laughs> and everybody knows they're handing out to Payton, and he was still able to break records. So you know, I got nothing for props for sweetness, but the rest can just kiss my ass. I think the two of you have uh, probably have a good deal more than common that you think, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I think so, because so. we're kind of like, yeah. I'm a Viking fan yeah. growing up in Chicago. You're a Bear fan growing up out here. There you go. And he has the same cocky attitude yep. that you do. And yeah, we split absolutely. like we did every year. Yep. We knocked brother. your starting <laughs> We knocked your quarterback out for the rest of the year, so you guys, you know, we split. You and guys we beat went... us by five, and we didn't have a relaxer that game. But we beat you. Yeah, beat us, I'll give you that. Yeah. Well, Moss was having back pains. Corey, here's, the, here's what you need to do. Here's what we need to do. You need to call before the game next time. That's yes. the smack I there was talking go. to you, that it, it takes a really big man to talk smack after the fact. That's Jimbo's only angle I've had here. my chances, but... I feel a little sorry for you. Well, what's the date on the email? Yeah. Well, well, email uh, this is, before this the is game. post game. This is definitely post game. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure about that because right. sometimes Tiff sits on an email. That's it makes me look like a jackass. And not <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what, Minnesota Kurt? Vikings and marijuana have in common besides Randy Moss. What? They both get smoked in bowls. Nah. Nah. <laughs> I think you should rock that joke to hell. All right, Carl. You deserve to be rocked to All hell. Right, I'll give it go. to you right now, baby. Here you go. Thank you. Ready, ready, All right. Yo, listen, Corey. Here we go. Yeah! We agree to disagree. Rock it out. Oh. Big finish. Go, Vikes. You're still in last place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rock it out. Oh, right on. Man, you guys never get yep. more in tune, do you? Uh, <laughs> never. It stays the same. <laughs> yep. My change, man. Yeah, that's right, man. It's got us our fame. we got to remember yep. our roots. Don't sell out, man. <laughs> Thanks, Don't man. Don't cut your hair. <laughs> uh, your morning Tippy, 96.7 KCAL Rocks. 96.7 KCAL Rocks. It was two Tiffany and Jimbo. We bring it to you every week at this time. Here now on your morning Stiffy, the Ralph Nader of Mouth Invader and... <laughs> Jimbo's bedtime story. Finally, Ralph Nader was of some use to us. Yee-hoo! This is where Jimbo takes a story from the pages of a popular adult magazine and reads it to us. There are, however, certain things in those stories that you can't say on the radio. So he takes all those things out and replaces them with things from a specific category. And today's category being... Yes. Tiffany's favorite sport. Oh, boy. What's um, that? Shopping. Hey! Oh, yeah. Excellent. Except at Christmas time when I have to shop for other people. Today's Jimbo's bedtime story is called... Hurry! Yeah. Only 69 shopping lays until Christmas. <laughs> See, I like it when you put it like that. Yeah. I never thought this would happen oh, to me. Of course not. I work as a mall Santa. Right. <laughs> Mostly I just deal with little kids. Yeah. However, yeah. I get a break from being screamed at, barfed on, or occasionally soiled every two hours. Yeah. Well, one day, uh-huh. we hired a new girl as Santa's helper. Hey, now. Ooh. And she was beautiful uh-huh. with the biggest pair of Spencer gifts I'd ever seen. <laughs> 
<laughs> the minute I saw her, yeah. my limited instantly became a TJ Maxx. <laughs> Get the max for the minimum there, you know. I should mention now that I'm generously endowed with a Hickory Farms Yardo beef. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to go home and MasterCard. <laughs> Don't do that in Stu's direction. <laughs> For God's sake. He had to do the little yeah. gesture. Flitter towards me over here. However, yeah. as we both went on break, yeah. she asked to see my Wix and sticks. <laughs> <laughs> I knew right then yeah. I was going to Pokemon. <laughs> Jimbo reliving his days at the mall. Sure. I asked where she wanted to do it. Yeah. And you know what she said? What did she say? Bed. Beth and beyond. <laughs> then yeah. she lifted up my Santa suit and began to play with my hot dog on a stick and funnel my sex Fifth Avenue. Soon, yeah. Yeah. she anchor blew me. <laughs> Excellent. Manny, it was sweet factory. <laughs> Then, yeah. I lifted up her elf skirt and began to lick her wet seal. That is way wrong. Her right. elf skirt. No, I'm no fruitcake. No. And she was obviously no virgin megastore. <laughs> so I couldn't wait any longer. Oh, no. I just had to fall into her gap. <laughs> Remember that commercial? Remember that? Remember that? Sure. I wanted her to sit on Santa's lap. <laughs> sure. She told me that she didn't want a junior department. <laughs> so she provided me with complimentary gift wrapping to put on my big K. I don't think it's spelled for the Yeah, K. whatever. <laughs> I guess you could spell yours any way you want. That's sure. right. We'll take it. Anyway. Yeah. I slid my Banana Republic deep into her Abercrombie and Fish. Why is it always fish? <laughs> and we began to do a gift exchange, if you know what I mean. <laughs> My Amazon dot. Meow, 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 meow. Hemer, hemer, her, and a partridge in a pear tree. My Amazon.com was really pounding her eBay. I sure was giving her the hard sell. I mean, I was really stuffing her stocking. Yeah. I bent her over to check out her Cinnabons. <laughs> I love them. But still, yeah. I noticed there were nuts in her Mrs. Fields brownie. <laughs> oh, no. So I slid my long line back into her information booth. They have those long lines at the holiday season? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I began to moan. Oh. Ho, 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 whore. <laughs> ho, ho. We love it when you do that. <laughs> I couldn't hold back much longer. <laughs> right. My cheese balls were filling with hot topic. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, yeah. my Swiss colony beef log shot its spare change into her Salvation Army kettle. I'm sure they're digging that log. <laughs> my white sail was all over her Nordstrom's rack. <laughs> white sail. <laughs> Afterwards, Stu, uh -huh. she tried to pull off my beard. No. She did. Uh, well, when it wouldn't come off, she said, wow. Yeah. You really are Santa. I said, yes, vagina. There is a Santa Claus. And that oh, is Jimbo. Oh, Lord have mercy. Shopping. I had to bring up the Salvage Nation oh. Army. Bedtime. <laughs> Give when you can. Story. Uh, do more to Stiffy 96.7 KKL Rock.